In this video, we cover calibration and configuration procedures for Honeywell XNX transmitter connected to a search point Optima Plus. The whole setup is powered up with a 24 volt DC supply. Now we show you the internal circuitry of XNX transmitter. As you can see, the red and the black wires here are the input voltage source. It's connected either to an external source or to the controller. Next we have here is the cables, red and black, connected to the sensor. That is nothing but the voltage, positive and negative. Next we have the white cable, that is nothing but the signal cable, which goes to the sensor. Next we have RS485 communication cable, that is the orange and blue one. The switches here, S1 and S2, are supposed to be for source, for source mode. That is, S1 will be in down position and S2 will be at up position. S3 and S4 both are supposed to be at down position for source connection. Now we fix back the panel. After fixing it back, we power up the setup. 24 volt DC supply is given to the setup. After powering up, we let it warm up for a minute. As you can see, the warm procedure is going on. The front panel of the XNX transmitter has an alarm indicator, a power indicator and a fault indicator. And on the left it has an X mark that is to go back to the previous menu or to cancel. And on the right we have a tick mark to select options. At the bottom we have minus and plus toggle keys which are used to increase or decrease values or also to toggle between options. Once the warm up procedure is done, we enter into the menu by selecting the tick mark. We enter the passcode that is 0000. In the main menu we have four icons, first is information, second is test, third is calibrate and fourth is configure. We select the configure first and to configure we have various options, language which is already preset to English. We go to the previous menu. Next is date and time settings which is already preset. We go to the previous menu now. Now we have set milliamp sensor type which is already selected, that is Excel Optima. Now we move on to the next option, that is Gas Selection. Under Gas Selection, we have Methane, that is Preset. It is once again selected. We go to the previous menu. Next is Range and Alarms. Under Range and Alarms, we have the fullest value, that is, the maximum value is 100% LEL. Alarm 1 and 2 can be set according to according to our criteria can be selected one at a time for demonstration purpose alarm 1 is set at 20 percent we select the option alarm 1 and make necessary changes here set the value we move to the next alarm select it make necessary changes
using the toggle key we move to the highest value that is 100% LEL or the maximum value it can be called as and select it and settings are accepted next we move to latching or non-latching here we have three options first is alarm one alarm one is set to latching select it we move on to alarm two alarm two once again is set to latching then we move to alarm three alarm three is set to non-latching non-latching once saved the settings are accepted then we move to the next option milliamp level for inhibit which are preset we do not have to tamper with these settings we just save them and move on to the next option these are all preset values hence we do not tamper them we just select them save them and move on to the next option As you can see, all these options are preset, and so you do not tamper them. And just make sure that all of them are saved once again. Now we go back to the previous menu. We go to calibrate option. Select it. Under calibrate, we go to gas calibration. First, we apply zero gas. That's nothing but zero calibration. We select it. As you can see now zero is in progress. When zero calibration is progress, the sensor is not connected to a cal gas or any sort of cap calibration. And it is left open. Now you can see the zero test is passed. Now we save it. Next is span calibration. Scan calibration has to be set to 50% as the cylinder rating is 50%. Once the value is set, that is 50 percent, we apply gas using the calibration cup and gradually increasing the regulator knob. Once the gas is applied, we see increase here in the LEL level. The LEL level increases gradually. We wait until it reaches a stable value and then save it. As we had set the span value as 50% LEL, we'll wait until it reaches 50% LEL and wait for it to stabilize. The 
since the value is stabilized at 50, approximately 50% LAL, we save the value. Span is in progress as you can see. The calibration cap is still connected. Now you can see the span is passed, that is the span calibration is accepted. Now we remove the calibration cap. Now wait for a stable value of the span until it reaches zero. Once it reaches zero, we save it and select exit with inhibit off for calibration purpose. Then we go back to the previous menu, go to the home screen and you can see there are no errors and the LEL percentage is zero and the gas selected is methane and alarm one and two settings are also shown that is 20% LEL and 30% LEL respectively. Now for test purpose, before we move on to the test purpose, we enter the passcode, go to the main menu, under which we go to configure, and make sure that the latching settings are changed to non-latch. Since it is just a demonstration, we keep it to non-latch. Now back to the home screen, we see that methane gas is selected. Alarm 1 and 2 are depicted at respective position that is at 20% LEL and 30% LEL and the LEL percentage shown is 20, 0%. Now we connect the calibration cap to the sensor and gradually increase the flow of the gas using the regulator knob. As you can see the LEL percentage level is increasing. The first alarm is at 20% LEL. Second at 30%. As you can see, the alarm indicator also flashes. We wait for it to reach the maximum set span value that is 50% LEL. As you can see, now the variation in the LEL value is very slow as it is reaching its maximum steady value. Since we have set the span value at 50% LEL, now the value here should not surpass 50% LEL and the bar graph also will simultaneously depict 50% LEL value. Now as we see, it is nearing 50% and it is stable at 50%. Even though the regulator is at on position and the gas is let in, 
we see that 50% LEL is a constant value. Hence, the span calibration is done precisely well. Now, since the test procedure is done, now we can remove this cap calibration, calibration cap, and disconnect it from the sensor. 